Hi, this is MTB214. I'm making a video reviewing the two of the new Doom Part 2 figures. This is Emperor Shaddam IV and Fed Rutha Harkonnen. I got these figures more because it's the first of like soft goods with wired capes, etc. from McFarlane. So I'll to like test that out. I saw the movie this weekend and it was pretty cool. It's pretty long. And the only thing I could say is Christopher Walken's character, the Emperor, doesn't have a huge role in it, like a long time, but um, it's a cool movie to check out. So let's open these two. I opened these up previously just to check them out. So there's the Emperor, and here's the young Harkonnen. Oh, for the boxes, a little description. Of each of them. And the logos on the side, legalese on the bottom. The top has their logos. And let's see. So for the Emperor, Christopher Walken, he doesn't come with any accessories here. He just comes as is. But he has soft goods at his robe. So these are soft goods that you can make it to sway in the wind. The face sculpt is pretty good to look like Fritton. Older Crystal Walken. This could be used as a custom Max Shrek for Batman Returns if you take off the head and put on a suited body. The arms have double jointed. Um, can move all around. Hands move, has some rotation for the legs, can go up. Well, let's see how he looks underneath. It just wears like regular round clothes. Legs can go up, back not that much. The double jointed knees has pivot at the ankles. Forward and back is yes. torticulation. So it's sort of basic underneath here, but he should be wearing his emperor robes. So it's a pretty cool figure. And I'm going to be putting him on this throne, which came with Black Adam. He didn't even use in the movie, but what? <laughs> so let's set him down. And then the box, there's a card. The um, card comes with him and a stand. The stands are useful for all sorts of figures. And on to Fed Rutha Harkonnen. So he's the, the older Harkonnen's nephew. In the movie. Before seeing the movie, I thought that these two were on the same side, but it's not exactly like that. Well, see the movie to find out for yourself. He comes with two swords here. A long sword and a short sword. The card figure stand. For the rotation, his arms can go up. That that's hindered by this. Double jointed elbows. Some rotation there for his head can go have it up down. Yes, diaphragm cut, good paint job, and that waist legs can go out and back, double jointed knees, ankles can rotate and go back and forth. The paint is really good on him, and he has a, a wired cape so you can have it like he's. In the wind, this cape is long in the wind, and with the swords, those are good accessories. The short sword and the long sword. I don't think he uses both at the same time in the movie, if I remember correctly, but he's going to be holding both in my world.
I'm not familiar with this actor, but he did a good job playing this character. He would be good as a custom figure to make as a Darth Bane Star Wars figure because he's wearing all the black and he has a shaved head. So just would have to probably maybe paint him all white and put the lines on his face and give him a lightsaber and then pretty good to go. But I made Black Adam into a custom Darth Bane. So let's see. Can stand pretty well. So I'm going to go turn this around and have them with some other figures from other companies. So I'm just setting that up here. Just one moment. This isn't really canon, but just to show them off with some of the other characters. So here he is. Here they are. Some characters from various lines. A Conan and the Emperor with Figures from Star Wars, Hasbro Star Wars, Lando Calrissian, there's McFarlane, Retro Superman, there's an Ewok from Star Wars, there's She-Hulk from the TV show, as well as Wonder Woman, and that wrestler, Daniel Bryan's, Daniel Bryan, and... Prey Predator with these two Dune figures. They both look cool. I'd suggest to check out the movie and the figures. Thanks. Have a great night. Take care. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Take care. Bye.